Good morning, this is Dwayne, and we've been doing a series on uh, how to color on the piano without crayons. And lately we've been talking about improvising using chords. And we said that all melodies, the melodies that you make up to improvise, are made out of either scale notes or passing tones such as chromatic tones or broken chords. For example, if I play the C6 chord, I can just break it up like that. Or any inversion, I can come down and go up it. Okay, so that's one thing you can do. To, I'm talking really to beginners of improvising here. If you're more advanced, this doesn't apply to you because you already know what to do, but uh, a lot of beginners don't know where to start, okay? And I also suggested that you use the rhythm of the melody uh, as a basis. Not, don't just wander, but take a, take a rhythm such as is found in the melody. That's a rhythm, right? So when I improvise, I could use different notes but the same rhythm. You see that? I'm using the rhythm of the melody. Okay, we also said in additional single notes you can use intervals, and last time we took up thirds. said we can use six. I'm playing the bridge now. I switch from thirds to six on my right hand. Okay, so you can switch back and forth between harmonizing intervals such as thirds and six. You can use others, but don't use them too frequently uh, because thirds and six are the harmonic intervals. Okay, and uh, today I'd like to take up uh, using block chords in the right hand. We've been playing chords in the left hand, but we can also just play block chords in the right hand to improvise. We don't need to play a single finger if we don't want to. We don't need to play a third if we don't want to, okay? It's nice to have all that in our arsenal, but here's another tool in our arsenal, uh, just playing block chords in the right hand. so on okay so feel free to make up a melody but then put the chords of the uh, of the approach the chord progression in under your melody in the right hand for example if the chords C6 then use the notes of the C6 chord they can be any inversion of course and then when you get to the next chord which is a minor seventh you could play that in any inversion the next chord is D minor seventh play that in any inversion. The next chord is G7. Okay, You can also combine that with, uh, with grace notes like we talked about. And so on like so. Okay, So use block chords as well as single finger notes, grace notes, and thirds to start to improvise. Tomorrow I'm going to add a seventh to the uh, chord and we'll get a bluesy sound and I'll show you how that'll kind of transform the entire sound of Blue Moon or any any uh, song if you uh, add a seventh and get a, a bluesy sound as a result. So I'll look forward to that tomorrow. Uh, meanwhile, if you haven't signed up for our free series of videos, go on over to playpiano.com and sign up for those. Okay. So I hope to see you there. Bye-bye for now.